I've had my Epson ET4760 now going on about two years. I know it's less than two years, but more than a year, and I absolutely love it. I have recently found out in the month of December that it actually prints out photos, and I was so excited. It does everything, and I definitely have gotten my money's worth out of it, being that we are a homeschooling family, and also we use it for work, so we get a lot of use out of it. I will be time stamping this video so if you want to jump ahead, by all means, go ahead and do so. But I will be sharing a lot of information all the way throughout the whole video to the end. So make sure you stick around. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you do so. I make content on parenting, motherhood in particular, giving helpful recommendations and anything having to do with homemaking. This obviously falls under providing helpful recommendations as a lot of times I do product reviews and testing. A while back, I think it's probably been over a year ago, I had put up a video on reviewing, testing, and setting up my Epson 4760 printer, and it was helpful to a lot of people, which I'm really glad because that's what I'm here for. So as a present for my parents back in December, I looked up to see can my printer print out photos? And I was so happy to find out that it can. With inkjet printers, they print out really good photos. I don't know about every printer, but inkjet printers in particular can print out photos. But with my printer, I can speak on, it does print out very nice. The quality comes out so beautiful. I searched to find out how do I go about it? How do I even print and get started? And there really wasn't any information out there, which was really surprising. So I thought now that I have a little bit of knowledge under my belt and I have printed about over 120 photos, I can now help you guys out in return. So since there wasn't any information that I could find on my particular model, the Epson ET4760, I went ahead and looked up the user manual because I didn't have it anymore. I downloaded it and also I was in search of some photo paper and I didn't know which one to get. So I just did a lot of researching and as I do with any product, I did a lot of researching, finding out what people had to say. I read a lot of reviews and just learned from other people because I mean, this is what it's all about, learning from other people and that's where all the knowledge comes in from. And what I found is that this paper right here, the Epson paper, it was very highly recommended by people. And if you guys have any recommendations yourself for photo paper that you really like and highly recommend, by all means, please comment down below. We are all here to help each other out. So this is actually my second box because it comes in different counts. I got the highest count. It has 100 sheets in it, so I already went through one and um, am already into my second box. I also found some really nice photo albums for these, and I wanted to go the old school route. There was one that already had like pockets, individual pockets that you could put your photos in, but I wanted to go the old school route where you lift up the sheet, you put in the photos, and just seal it back up and it's working beautiful. I got two of them and they're one of them's stuffed to capacity and it's just holding up very nicely. So I will link down everything in the description down below that I am sharing with you guys. If you don't know how to get down to the description, if you are on your phone, you could just click the title. It'll drop the description down to show you all the links or underneath the title, you will see where it says more. Go ahead and click on more and it'll also drop down so you could see the links and to see all of them, you'll wanna click on more again so it could drop everything down so you can see everything and all the links that are provided. To make sure you get the most clearest, crisp picture with the best color quality, you will want to first run a print test. And with your print test, you will see and make sure that all the colors are in smooth, all the lines, there's nothing broken up and making sure that all the lines that are there for the print test for the colors. And if they do not come out like mine didn't, actually all of my yellow did not come out, maybe like one or two lines, then you'll want to do a clean of your nozzles. 
So I had read from somebody that when you do the cleaning of the nozzles that it takes up a lot of ink. And let me tell you, I had to do it about eight times. I had to do a print test, then a cleaning, then another print test, a cleaning, and so on and so forth until I finally got my yellows back in and it all was perfect and the color was back to normal. And honestly, it didn't even move or budge my ink at all. That's a wonderful thing about the inkjet printers is that you can print and print and print. In fact, I didn't even fill up, refill my printer ink and for over a year and I printed a lot. So as for the cleaning of the nozzles, it did not even didn't even put a dent into my ink. So if you're worried about that, don't worry, it's not gonna take up your ink. All right, so first things first, we'll go ahead and tap on the screen and I'll go over, we wanna go over here to settings, or actually to maintenance, which is next to settings. Go ahead and click on it. And we are going to do a print head nozzle check. And then we'll go ahead and print. So right here, as you see, we have, this is the black, we have the yellow here on top, red and the blue. Right here, as I was explaining before, the yellow, it didn't not have like half of these lines, it just had a couple. So you wanna make sure that the lines are going straight all the way across, that there's no breakage in any of them, and that the color is true. So you see right here where it has the X, there's some breakage here, and also for the O, it'll show that there is no breakage. So if you do have some and you need to correct that, which you will wanna do for having the most clearest, vibrant colors and making sure that your colors are working good, you would click the X and then you would press start and you would do the clean the print head to correct the missing spots and you would press start. Since I don't need to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and go back. But after you would press start, it would go through the process, then you would go back and then you would do another check for this to see if it has corrected the lines. You may have to do it a couple times in order to correct the lines and make sure that you do have the best print quality. So I'm gonna go ahead and press O, or you can go straight to the print head cleaning, um, but it's better to run the check first and then do the print head cleaning after as it prompts you to do so. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back. Okay, for this paper I showed you guys just a bit ago, this is the Epson paper. I got it off of Amazon, and as I mentioned, I will provide the links down in the description. So these are the papers right here. I have some already ready available. They come nice packaged here in some cellophane wrap, plastic wrap. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just take a couple sheets out here. You can just do one sheet and I probably just need one. I don't think, actually, no, I'm gonna be doing a little project here. Um, so I'll just already have the papers loaded. You will want to do it. You'll see it says Epson. This will be face up. I'm gonna go ahead and close the tray here and open this up here. I have some regular printer paper already in here. So let me go ahead and remove that. I'll put it here at the top and then I will put my paper in. Epson, Epson will go up. The shiny side will go down. You'll just kind of pinch this right here, this little lever, and that closes it. And then you'll make sure that it's all the way pushed back. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and close this up. Pull this out and it automatically prompts you to pick the paper size. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. And as you see, there's so many different paper sites here. You have the A4, the letter, which we always have loaded in there. The Officio 9, 8.5 by 13. Mexico, Officio, 8.5 by 14, which is the legal, executive, envelope, 8 by 10, 5 by 7, 4 by 6, 3.5 by 5, and A6, half letter, and user defined. And we'll go down till we get four by six, since this is a four by six picture. Okay, so right here, the paper type, it says plain paper. We'll want to go down and we'll choose premium glossy. 
now it's good. It's at paper sizes by four by six and it is on the paper type premium glossy. So we can go ahead and go back and we can choose a picture to print. To print a picture by your phone, you just go to your gallery and you can choose a photo here, one that's bright. We got this one right here. And I am going to go to the three little dots and down at the bottom, you see where it says print. So I'm gonna go ahead and click print. And you'll wanna make sure that everything is good here. This says it's letterhead plain paper and you'll wanna change it to four by six. And for more options, it says borderless already, best print quality, which is good. So we'll go ahead and go back. And it does say that it's in portrait, so we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the yellow button print and we're gonna go ahead and print. It comes out pretty quickly. It does not take very long at all to print. And one thing that I do want to mention though is when you do it by your phone, I don't know if it's just my phone or what, even though I choose borderless, oftentimes there still is a small little bit of a border. But when I print with the computer, I don't have that issue. So it's just one thing that I thought I'd mention. Another thing it does say in the instructions, I don't know if I saw it on the user manual for the Epson or if it was with the instructions for the um, Epson printer paper here, uh, but it did say to take out the paper. I don't put my hands all over it. I just grab it by the edge. It does come out pretty dry, uh, but they did say in the instructions to lay it somewhere flat and then take a blank sheet of paper, put it on top of it, and leave it like that overnight. But what I did notice is that it comes out dry, but I don't wanna put my fingers all over it, but I leave it for about, oh, about at least five minutes before I go ahead and I put it in our memory book. But you can go ahead and touch it, it's fine, but you know, just to be sure, don't put your fingers all over it all right away. And um, in this way, it could just give it a little bit of time to dry. But look at how beautiful the colors come out so nice, so crisp, so clean. This way you're able to print out pictures anytime you want. And especially, you know, if you have children, you travel or just for anybody that wants to keep memories, you can put them in a really nice photo album and you have this. Or even if you have like maybe Christmas parties or little events at your house, you guys can always take family pictures, print them out and have something to give to all your guests before they go home, they have a picture to take home. So it's definitely a great investment. To print out pictures from your computer, it's super fast, simple, and straightforward. All you need to do is first pick out a picture that you're wanting to print out. Once you do find that picture, as you see here on the top, you see three dots. It says, see more. Go ahead and click on that. And you will see down here, it says to print. Once you open up this screen, you'll first want to make sure your computer is connected here to your Epson. And since mine is already, I don't have to worry about that. This picture is in landscape mode, but if you did have a picture in portrait mode, then you would click on portrait. But as you see, this one is landscape, so it is in the correct orientation. I want to print out one copy, so I already have one here. And for here, at the paper size, I'm gonna go ahead and change it from a letter size all the way down here to a four by six. Now for the paper type, I wanna put it down to premium photo paper glossy. The photo size is the full page, which that is what we definitely want, the full page. And I am gonna go ahead and click on print. Sometimes it wants me to click on it a second time, so I'm gonna click it on it a second time so it can go ahead and print out. And that is it, super simple. And as you can see, it does not have any borders for whatever reason. Sometimes the borders come up when I use my cell phone to print out pictures, but straight from the computer, I do not have that issue. It prints out very quickly, which is really nice. And I really appreciate that as it gets the projects done a lot quicker. Now, if you're printing one after the other, um, you want to first make sure that you pull this off before another one prints out. 
but I have noticed um, since I was printing several, I did like 120 pictures, that there was times that another one could come out and overlap. I didn't have any issue, but I mean, you just want to avoid that by just pulling it off here. But if one overlaps, it's not the worst thing. You just as quickly as you can come over and make sure that you prevent that from happening or to pull them off of each other. And I didn't have any problems with them sticking. But look at how cute little Jesse J is with his dad's hat and how great the picture quality came out. I absolutely am so happy with our printer. It does absolutely everything. Like I said and mentioned that we use it for our homeschooling. We use it for work. Now we use it for memories and being able to print out photos. So I'm very excited about that. This is the second picture. Here's the first picture that we printed out. Very good color. Um, this one was taken in a bit of a darker room, so the color isn't as vibrant, but that was because the picture wasn't as vibrant. But just look at how good it prints out. Here's a side by side, and I am just very happy and very pleased, and I know you guys would be too. Jet type printers you do want to run it and print something like at least twice a week so this way the little ink nozzles do not get clogged because they do get clogged if you don't use them. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe down below. Give this a thumbs up, leave a comment and share with a friend. Thank you so much and God bless. Bye.